Hey my cookies, today I'll be showing you how I make the most insanely delicious cranberry sauce. Y'all gonna love this. <laughs> Let's cook. Starting with some fresh cranberries that I have rinsed well, drained, and then sorted. I took out all the bad ones and discarded them. Put that aside. And in the saucepan, you wanna add in some granulated sugar, a little brown sugar, and also some cinnamon for some spice. And then we're going to add just a little pinch of salt. You know, all sweets need salt. And then we're going to whisk that together very, very well. Come on, brown sugar, act right. No water in my cranberry sauce. We're going to use orange juice and pineapple juice, equal parts of both. This adds amazing flavor. And go ahead and whisk that together very, very well. And now we can head over to the stove, crank that heat on, and let's get to whisking. While our mixture is coming up to a simmer or a rolling boil, you wanna continue to mix because we have some sugar in there and sugar will burn up on you. So when we have a boil, flash, simmer going, go ahead and carefully pour in those cranberries. And then we're gonna stir it. And once we get that boil, a low boil, rolling again, we want to turn our heat down to about a medium low setting or low setting. I don't know your stove like that. Just turn it down low so we don't burn these things. We want to cook it slow. Once you see those little bubbles on the side, give it a stir occasionally and we're going to allow it to cook. Okay. Those berries are going to start to pop and it's going to thicken up a bit. So this is what it looks like after five minutes of cooking. Those berries are starting to pop, looking good. We're gonna allow it to cook for another five minutes. So 10 minutes in total and we have this. So good, it looks so good guys. Let me tell you, the flavor is in there. Now we can turn the heat off. Don't worry if it looks a little soupy, it will thicken as it cools. So remove it from the heat, allow it to cool to room temperature. Guys, this is so good. Don't worry about the sugar we use because it has the perfect amount of tang and it's not too sweet at all. And this is optional. If you know what that is, then you know if you don't, don't even worry about it. But you know, I'm a little grown for the holidays. So I like to add a little drop of this. If you're not serving this to kids, you can partake, but if you are, go ahead and skip this step, child. But if not, y'all definitely wanna try. And y'all, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you allow the sauce to cool completely at room temperature before you transfer it to an airtight container and place it in the fridge. You need to chill it for about four hours before you serve. It's the perfect dish to make ahead because it will last in the refrigerator in an airtight container for up to a week. I like to top it with a little bit of orange zest. If you prefer to add the zest in during the cooking time, go ahead, do that, it's your thing. The recipe link will be down there in the description box. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Give your girl a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Until next time, be blessed.